Now we come to the three dimensional closed packing and how can we achieve that? Now there are two ways that, that, that we can follow. The first thing was, first we go back to our two dimensional packing and one of the packings that we had seen was, was square closed. So things were like this, isn't it? Things were like this. things were something like this okay now what I do the second layer I place over this right above this we understand right above this so here and here we get the point just hold this. Fine. Then the other one is like that. See, like that. Leave it. Wait, 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 wait. You see? So, so the below one is square, and above that I have also put a square. Right, right, right above it. So if the below, if, if the layer below is A, then the layer above is also A, okay? And if you connect these eight, the center of these eight balls, you will find that you have got a cube whose edge length is equal to the diameter of one of the balls. Is it not? Is it not? You understand that? So it comes over like that. Fine? Head on. Fine? That is AAA packing. Fine? But again, as you can see, this is a waste of a lot of space. Is it not? Now the solids, they, 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 when they come together, they'll kind of slide past this and they'll mostly, they'll, they'll arrange like a hexagonal closed packing. Now what if I have a hexagonal closed packing out here? So it is something like this. Is it not? This is our hexagonal closed packing. This is one. Fine. Two. Three. Now how do you put the second layer above the first and the third layer could be something like that like like the third layer will be like this isn't it fine third layer was like that so i have started my first layer my first layer was what we saw in the two-dimensional packing as a hexagonal closed packed structure, right? Now what, how can I put the second layer over this, okay? So I decide to put the second layer like this. Now, now you should understand one thing very well, that once you have, and, and this can be seen only with these, whatever I had done till now, that was readily understood, but what I'm doing now will be understood understood from here I put one ball there so another one here another here another here okay and then another here another here and another here, another here, and here. We get the point. So second layer, putting the second layer is, is simple, fine? Putting the second layer is simple.
and I find that the second layer is also hexagonal close packed, isn't it? Can you see that? That this layer is also hexagonal close packed. Okay. Do we see that? We have no other option. Now, now you have an option. What is that option? Let us see. When I am making the legs next layer, now now if you if you look from the above, if you look from the above. If you look from the above, what happens? What happens? What happens is this. I will have to bring the camera nearer. If you can see it, if you can see it, If you can see it, the third layer, the way I can put the third layer can be in two ways. See, there, there, if, if you, if you watch vertically above, you, if you watch from above, you will see something. You can see something. I can either put a ball here. I can either put a boil ball in this void. You see, if 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 you see from here, if you see from here, see it from above. If you see, you can see the you can see the the base of this the base of this vessel this plastic vessel the base of it you, you can still see that there is a void here through which you can see through do you understand that can anyone everyone see that hmm? are we able to see that it's very important to, for you to see that Wait. So, so there is a void through which you can see down. Let me focus it. Yes. Is it focused? Yes. So, there is a void out here. There is a void out here. This, this, I am talking about this. I'm talking about say this, this, this is what, this is this is the place from where you can see the bottom of this. So so it looks dark, right? And here th there is a void beside that, below which you can see the ball, the orange ball. Fine. Now I have a choice. You know, either I put my ball over this. So that what happens? the orange ball which was below that i have kept this yellow ball exactly vertically over that do we understand that 
there is one way in which I start putting, see, see, this is one void and this is another. This is a void which, which is still dark. Why? Because, because the bottom of this, this vessel, the bottom of this box is visible. So, so that looks darker. Well, this is orangish, right? Why? Because there is a ball right below that. No? Can't see that? Do you realize what I am saying? Do you realize what I am trying to say? Hmm? So, I will put it here. So, this. So, I, if you decide to put the ball over, over a void. Okay. So, over a void. Which is a void? See, this is a void. This is a void. So if, if, no, this is orange ball. This is the void. So if you put the ball over a void, then the next ball that you will be putting will be always over the void itself. So you are forced to keep the things over the voids. Correct? Such that, such that there is still no repetition. Correct? You see this? I have put these three, three yellow balls over the void. You understand? Remove those balls. Yes. Again see, they are over the void. Start putting them over the void. Fine. Void, void. No. Is that a void? No. Remove that, remove that. That's not a void. You put it over those, those triangular holes where you can see through the, you can see through to the bottom of this box. Do you see that? It was, it was not this, it is this. Okay, it is actually this. Do you see that? No, still, st still not seen. This, this is the void. This is the void. So I am putting it over the void. This. Then the next I'll have to put over the void, and the next again is a void. See, so I, I'll keep on putting it over a void. I simply have no choice. Once you put it over a void, you put it over a void. And, and by void, right now, what do I mean by void? I, I mean, if I am putting over that triangular thing through which I can see right to the bottom of this box. Fine. See, there's this one, there's this triangle, there's this triangular one, there's this triangular one, which is, which is? through which you can see to the bottom, right? Then bes just beside that, just beside that, again you can see through the through to the bottom, this. Okay, this, then this, then again this, then again this, right? While in the second row, you will find all those voids, which are, all those which are, all those which are filled. So you will see an orange ball below that below this. Okay, so if I put it over the orange ball, the next, everything I will put will be over the orange ball and my repetition has begun. Do you understand? The moment I keep it head on, my repetition has begun. So, so, so these three, these three yellow balls, sure, sure, point that out. These three yellow balls, point that out. 
these three yellow balls I have put over my orange balls isn't it I have put over the orange balls so my repetition has begun and my repetition has begun in third layer is it not so I call it a b a b then then whatever you put above it will start getting repeated so this is a b a b a b okay now if you had decided to put it over that hole through which you you could still see the bottom so so replace it remove it from there and shift it one place shift it one place put it over that through which you can see the bottom fine so yes fine so what has happened we have still not started repeating whatever had happened fine so this is layer c you will see no none of the balls are over the other ball do you observe that maybe because it is from here hmm it is created from here that's it yeah it is not corresponding it is it's forming a slope kind of thing right we see that it's a slope kind of thing now if you put the ball above it so 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 align align more align more such Hmm. Hmm. So you will find them all being placed over the, over the no, just 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 put the third layer. Just put the third layer. All these yellow balls that no no remove that. All the yellow balls that you have put, they are over 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 over. No, currently they are not over the orange. Are they? They are over the void. No. They are over that void, yes. So now you put, now you put above this the fourth layer. The fourth layer is over what? The second layer. No. See again. Is it over the second? No, it's not over the second. Remove that red ball. What can you see below? Orange ball. No, the pink. Just see. Just see. See what ball is that? See it. See it. Put a pencil or a pen through it. You'll see which of the layers gets disturbed. You'll immediately understand which which layer you are putting it above. first yeah. is it first you you can remove this ball to see see you will be putting it here right you will be putting it you will be putting it here right you will be putting it here here you will be putting it here no there is there is a pink ball which is which belongs to the first layer below that put it put a ball over this yes so that comes over the pink one so it is in the fourth layer that the repetition begins it is in the fourth layer that the repetition begins is it not so this is called a b c a b c we understand that two dimensionally it becomes very difficult to understand why and how the fourth layer and the third layer are getting repeated okay